Welcome to Picto 1.11. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the new features of this release, starting with the major one, which is the introduction of a trash. As you can see in the in the sidebar, we now have a new item called the Picto Trash, and this is where you can uh, move items that you want to to delete. So let's see how it works. I'm going to move a few items from different types of uh, sources. I can, here I'm in a, in a Lightroom, and I'm in an Aperture catalog, and I'm going to simply drag and drop uh, those items, those two images, into the trash. I can use the menu as well to move to the trash, if I have several items that are selected, for example. Or I can also use uh, the standard command delete shortcut in order to move items uh, into the trash. I'm going to move those four items too, move to the trash. So you can see my trash counter has uh, been incremented to nine items now and um, here I can see the um, the origin of those uh, of those items. I can see the, uh, the number of images coming from each of the sources for which I have deleted items and also how much they contribute to the uh, global size of the trash. This is an approximative uh, size but it gives you a good good idea of um, uh, the space that you could reclaim uh, should you decide to empty those, that trash. If you have second thoughts about items being in a trash, you can use the uh, untrash uh, icon here to move them back, them back to um, their original source. You can also use multiple selections and use the put back command to um, put them back in their, in their original source. And uh, we have full support for undo, so you can undo these uh, last commands and and um, have those items come back uh, in the trash. Depending on um, the origin of the, um, the items that you have in the trash, um, there will be different types of actions that are available. But first of all, um, once an item is in the trash, it no longer shows in any of the views, and it no longer shows in any of the searches that you can perform. So even if you use the search field, or if you do conversational search, or if you create uh, smart albums, all those items that are in the trash will never appear. So they are effectively hidden. Um, for some sources, we can propagate the change and, and really delete the items. So in, this is the case for uh, files and folders. Um, so if I click on uh, this source, I can see those uh, four images that are in the trash. By clicking here in the sidebar, I can filter on the, the sources I'm interested in. I can see those, those four images. If I click on the um, move to the finder trash, it will move those items to the trash. Let me first empty my trash here, so it's going to be more obvious. And I'm going to move to the finder trash, so these four items will now disappear from the trash, and they are now in the finders bin. So here I can decide to uh, really remove them, um, delete them from my disk, and in which case uh, I will then have to uh, run a synchronization in order for Picto to pick up the change. In the case of Lightroom, you can propagate those changes to the underlying catalog too by clicking on the Continue Deletion in Lightroom Classic button. This would launch uh, Lightroom on the um, catalog in which uh, those images are located, and it will mark those images as rejected. Um, Lightroom doesn't have the concept of a trash, so um, we can't, like in the Finder, add those, uh, those images to any, any trash in Lightroom, but we can use the rejected flag, which is a standard Lightroom flag for um, marking items to be deleted, and there is even a handy command to uh, delete rejected images. So this is how you would proceed in Lightroom um, from Picto. 
simply click on the continue deletion and, and then proceed in Lightroom either by removing those items from the catalog or um, deleting the files um, as well, which is a standard procedure in, in Lightroom. Uh, Pito then will then refresh and, and uh, those items will be gone and removed from the trash too. For other catalog types, um, like uh, Capture One, like Aperture, we can't propagate the uh, the changes. In the case of Aperture, there is no way to propagate the changes to this uh, old catalog okay. style. Uh, for Capture One, this is something we're going to, to do very soon. In the case of the uh, Apple Photos system library, we can propagate those changes and, like in the Finder, move those items to the Apple Photos trash, where you can then decide if you want to really delete them. They, they will be deleted after 30 days. For non-system uh, libraries, so other types of Apple Photos library that you might have, we cannot propagate the changes. So in the case of those uh, of those sources, the items will simply be uh, removed from the view, but will continue to live in the trash. This release also features a, a long-awaited um, command to relocate this release also features a long-awaited uh, command to relink catalogs that have been moved. So if you have a catalog that has been uh, moved to a different location, you can now uh, use the relink uh, command, and this is uh, currently available uh, for Lightroom catalogs and Capture One catalogs. If you've moved them, you can then simply click on relink source and and point Picto to the new location of the catalog file. So this would be the, uh, the catalog file in the case of uh, Capture One or the uh, .lrcat file in the case of uh, Lightroom, and Picto will uh, relink all those uh, resources. So you no longer have to re-ingest a catalog that has been moved, you simply point Picto to the, to the new location. This release also has some um, new features in with respect to uh, keywording. The um, suggested keywords uh, are now better. We've upgraded the, the uh, AI models that are used to uh, infer the keywords that could be associated with, uh, with an image. Um, in the next release, it will be dedicated to keywords and will let you edit keywords and you will get even more relevant keywords uh, from AI. So stay tuned for that, uh, that upgrade. There is also uh, a command that was already, always there but uh, was sort of hard to find. And that lets you change the, um, the root catalog of Picto. A number of people didn't know that it was possible, so you can have multiple Picto catalogs. Say you want to s separate the uh, images that you use for work and the images that are, you use for uh, your private uh, life. You can um, have different uh, Picto uh, catalogs. So to do that, simply use the change root catalog command. This is where you can specify uh, where your other picture catalog is. So here, for example, suppose I want to create a new one. Uh, I'm going to create it in, in this temporary folder. Name it demo catalog. So it creates an empty folder where Picto will then uh, store its database and uh, Picto will asks me to restart. And it starts empty with a, with an empty catalog. I'm just going to ingest really quickly some data here in this catalog. All right? And then use the same command to switch back to the one I had before. And then again, it stop, asks me to, to restart and lets me switch to the other catalog. Where I have all my data. So um, this is handy, uh, available from the file menu. Uh, it's also available uh, when you start Picto. You can hold the option key and you get that same dialog.